Big Ten Coach of the Year as well as the ACC Coach of the Year. So, final regular season game for both teams underway here in Miami. See these guards in that starting lineup for Georgia Tech. Tony Morgan, as you mentioned earlier, one to watch, but the forwards can get it done as well. And there's Dale Blackshear, 2.62 to 60 win for Miami in Atlanta. Early turnover, Georgia Tech can't do that because as you told me yesterday at practice, Miami can get out and run off those turnovers. They do here, and they turn it into three. Of Cheyenne Day Wilson, she is going to make you pay. Now Miami again can spring off a miss with Patrick. Miami group coming off a 19-point win over Pitt. At the moment, picking up where they left off offensively on this home floor. For Nell Fortner's group, these are these moments where you kind of had to slow down mentally with a young group and not overreact to some turnovers early. There's another good defensive play by the length of Spearman. As a freshman of coming off the bench and contributing. Blackshear catch and shoot. Able to rattle that down. The Orlando native with family here today. It has aftertaste. Um, uh huh. Waiting for it to completely leave my system. We're nice people. We're trying to come up with an accurate assessment. <laughs> no, Laredo no saved that from going out of bounds. The Hurricanes, as you mentioned, looking for offense. They've forced turnovers, but haven't been able to turn it into points at the other end. That's what Aruzna Agustinaida can do. Such good potential on all areas. Just somewhat of a homecoming for her. Day Wilson able to stem the tide and get Miami back on the board. One point game. Just calling her number, just in her bag right now. All of, all but two of Miami's. She's got all eight for Miami right now. Julia Williams snatches down the board. Gonna run with it. Tried to sneak that around to Oldacre and did. Definitely something that Georgia Tech has scouted and worked against, worked on to scout against Miami. Morgan to the corner. Agustinaida stays hot. She brings so much energy off the bench for Georgia Tech. When you think of six men off the bench, you need that energy. You need not to skip a beat. Williams, tough shot. Morgan the rebound. They dump it right down low to Blackshear, who's able to power it off the glass and in. Battle of the pain is something that you will hear me say throughout this broadcast. But it is the battle of Shay Day Wilson if they do not get a body on her. And so when you look at it right now with 11 points, you know that it is a good day for Day Wilson. Agustinaida tried to stay hot, blocked there by Williams, one of the best defenders for Miami. Tested teams at the top and nearly come out on top. Miami, same story. And that one just swirls down in the lane in that NCAA tournament run a season ago with the, that we talked about. And it's a one-point lead for the Hurricanes. They go back and forth. And Morgan able to give Georgia Tech the lead right back. Down today. I mean, just a good frame, good body. Desert team up to. Erwin Roberts could have a fun exchange today. Into the lane, Patrick Spearman came diving over for the loose ball. That contact is going to be there, and the official's going to call it every time. Dwyer checks out. Down low, Blackshear contested by Lattimore. 11 of the first 13 for Miami today. Wonder where they would be without, without her offensive start. She'll pull up here, contested, but does not matter. Samurai, I love the responses from both teams today. Agustinaida tried to stay hot. Blocked from behind there. Looked like Lattimore got a piece of it. Let's go. This Georgia Tech group, the momentum, the belief in the process. Right now at 15 and 14 on the season, trying to stay above 500. Termese is a player who's looking the future, who they really love. And you mentioned it, Nell Fortner, a coach who's won at all levels with so many different rosters. What a rebound there from Spearman on the backside and turns it into two. Entertaining opening half here in Miami. Termese likes that spot on the floor. Well short, but Morgan almost looked like she knew where that shot was going to air ball. This time done going for it. Termese gets it back. Reset on the shot clock. Morgan sees she's wide open and drains a three. What a sequence there. Oh, nice pass. Oh, Spearman the finish. You could pass in the post, though. Um, 
that wasn't my ministry. My ministry was corn. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing either. Termis, easy finish. He's off to a good start off the bench. So patient in the paint is Dave Wilson. How about the southpaw finish there? You can't see tight, King. No. Nope. How about this opening half? Close game, first time these teams played. Carter catches in. Day Wilson, oh, in front of the home crowd, is feeling it. You speak about the engine to, to the, the, the team that is Miami. Day Wilson puts my... Uh, what's been a really fun opening half. One point Georgia Tech lead. Termese off the bench has been hot since coming in. Rightfully so, a smile on her face after she hits that three. Nice pass, extra feed, Lattimore to the finish, plus a foul. Have your footing, you collect yourself, you take your time, and you play for one another, and you make three the hard way. Momentum into the ACC tournament, Morgan, a drive, finish wasn't in store, might be numbers for Miami. On the move, Day Wilson to Lattimore looking for back-to-back -back buckets, and she finds it. Into the Hurricane uniform this season. Miami has the lead back. Johnson has something to say about that, however. It's going into halftime right now, but she is finding the extra pass and the extra person to do it for her. And Trey Day Wilson said, call God. With 21. Day Wilson just knows I have enough space to Day knock it down. Norado. Also in the backcourt, a starter for this Georgia Tech team and fills it up there to give Dunn was looking for her first points on the fast break, instead dishes it out. And some of the shots from Dave Wilson were just magnificent there. Blackshear, another player. Seven times on occasion. And Georgia Tech doing a beautiful job adjusting to Dave Wilson right now. They doubled her out high there, but it opened up Spearman down low for easy two. That is going to be the challenge for Miami. Playing on senior day today, trying to get a win for their seniors. Spin move from Lattimore. Spearman crowds a loose ball and finishes. That's the advantage of having both Spearman and Lattimore. Lattimore may have had enough of a contest there to force Morgan to adjust that shot. Jay Wilson got there before the double team arrived and gave Miami the lead. He's going to beat the double team. That's the He's up to 23 points now. Three shy of tying a career high. Up and under from Dunn. We're looking for her to get on the board. Late feed down low. Spearman just had to hoist it up and hit. Everyone's... Largest lead belongs to Georgia Tech. It was just four. They go back in front here. Back and forth we go. All of the switches that's going to happen, all the adjustments that's going to happen, we have to be able to respond. And they've done a great job doing just that. Lee Williams likes to operate with space. Found Dwyer. Long miss. Tapped out. Volleyball and save in the front court. Now Day Wilson, athletic move, couldn't hit. Old Acre, that was a clean rebound. And she's going to go to the line for one more. That basket and adding to the attempts that they have. And so Day Wilson with an attempt, don't worry about it, clean up. So Day Wilson on the bench and over half of Miami points. Old Acre, really talented young boy, goes to work in the post. She faced some really good forwards on that other side. When Miami went to the Elite Eight, nice drive at the opposite end from Avian Porter in their offense that day. Naredo shot strong. She's been building offense around here for since, by the way. <laughs> Black Sears speaking of offense, gives Georgia Tech the lead back. Oh, in moments like this, towards the end of the season, trying to break a losing record. Naredo lost it. Jalea Williams, a pump fake. And you can count that plus a foul. Has always and will always be her offense. Just very active. If you get her in the open court, you can all but. Williams on the move. Opts to curl it back out smartly. Dwyer pump fake the drive. Little floater drops down. To take call a timeout. Four point lead for Miami. 
Eight. And it's a four-point game. Morgan Beck in it for Georgia Tech. Naredo off the kickout. What a shot out of the timeout for Georgia Tech. Wow, talking about letting them play. Just that leadership from the point guard position and the poise that she's been able to corral her team was missing. And she was able to find an open man as we see Jasmine Roberts. Good to see her back out there after hitting her head on the floor not too long ago. Naredo, same spot, same result, and it's a tie game. Fire. Just letting her teammates create for her. Jab and get back because she's on fire. You talk about shot making and back and forth in the basketball game this year in the ACC. This one is up at the top. In the corner, knockdown shots. I'll do it, coach. And Jasmine Roberts. She's not being guarded at that moment. Oh, what a split of the D, and it's a one-point game. Georgia Tech has a chance to take the lead back on this possession. Dump it down low. Thomas Hill swatted by Spearman. The block on the under end here, Tamara. <laughs> Lazario Spearman said, not in my house. Days away from the ACC tournament. Meanwhile, some clutch action taking place here in Coral Gables. It's a career high. Challenge those 37 that I had in 2006 with a historic night for herself. I did timeout plays have been really good today for Georgia Tech. Nearly turned it over. Is there another one up their sleeve? Naredo for the lead. Couldn't hit. Spearman the board. Two seconds. Some extra hoops on a game that has had 17 lead changes. Johnson, 18th lead change. And Georgia Tech's back in front. Williams with five to shoot. Kicks it out. Time dwindling on Miami with a block from Morgan. Outlet feed. Dunn had to slow down to catch it. Defense down the stretch here. Scoring really at a premium right now. Uh, defense has 60 seconds to play in OT. Miami yet to score in overtime. Dwyer on the drive. They need it back and got it. Spearman opts to survey. Williams, a crossover, couldn't finish. Had a look, Spearman, second chance, no. Third chance is the charm. Makes it a three-point game. Trying to lead her team to a finish as you see the last possession for Miami. Miami with a lot of And looks like it's going to be a birthday present for Nell Fortner. And Georgia Tech gets over that hurdle of winning close games on the road. They get it done.